Hi, in this video, I wanna show you how you can use our native open API support to validate your requests and validate the JSON schema inside your open API document. So when you're building out, uh, let's imagine I'm gonna add a route here. Let's call it, you know, slash to do's. And if we look in the back here, this is actually an open API document that's powering our document and <laughs> it's powering our gateway. And uh, you can have schemas embedded inside your open API document. So I'm going to do this manually here. So you have a component section, then you have a schemas section here. This is if you want them to be reusable. And I'm just going to grab an example schema I have here that is from the very famous pet store sample. So I have a schema called uh, pet. So I'm gonna save that, it'll tidy that up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take this method here and make it a post that expects a particular type of um, body. And to do that, I'm gonna look at the, um, uh, the, the schema and add to my path here, post in this section, we're gonna add request body and that is gonna be of type, let's see, uh, content. And for the application JSON example, and we're gonna have a schema here. That is a dollar ref to hash slash components slash schemas slash pet. Just pop in a comma here, that'll get rid of that build error. Okay, so what that's saying is the request body for this post operation lives at hash, which is the root of this document, slash component, slash schema, slash pet. So it's this down here, and if we take a look at it, it says it requires an ID and a name, but it also has a tag string, and the ID is an integer. So let's go and see if we can use that now by simply applying here a policy, request validation, and notice we've got some options here. Uh, do we wanna validate the body? Do we wanna log only? So here's the options. Reject and log or reject only. I only wanna reject. If I do logging, it just logs something about the thing. If I do reject and log, it will reject an invalid response and log about the invalid response. I'm gonna do reject only here. Click okay, hit save. And this should now be validating posts to this endpoint. So let's try it. Let's just post a bad example. I got a bad request and it says no schema defined for method post in route with content type text plain. Well, there you go. I sent text plain, so it's not happy with that. So now I need to say application JSON. Oh, sorry. Content type is application JSON. Let's test it now. And body did not pass validation. See errors property for more details. So if we go down and look at errors, it says must have required property ID. Well, let's fix that, but let's do something silly, like make it a string. And a name is cat. So that again, bad request, did not pass validation, what's wrong now? ID must be an integer, so we gotta actually make that a number. And boom, we got a 200. Okay, we just successfully created a schema inside our open API. The best place to learn about how to write an author or open API documents is on the open API website. Um, but it's all standard, open standard stuff. And then you apply this request validation policy to your endpoint, configure it whether you want it to reject or just log or both, and you are off to the races.